2021 was a fantastic year for me. I hope it was for you. For me, I finished 75 hard, phase one, phase two, business was good. Wait a second, why do I still look like a dad bod? Oh boy. Welcome back to Dad Bod to Rad Bod, and we are bringing you a special holiday episode here. Uh, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, a Happy New Year coming up. I hope that you guys had a fantastic year. I did. I had a pretty wonderful year overall. I cannot complain. Uh, overall, I'm feeling good. I'm healthy. And my kids are good. My wife is happy. <laughs> That's super important. Um, everything is good. You know, we're moving on. Uh, business was good, but we made enough sales to be happy to reach our quota. So all that stuff is great. And I did accomplish 75 hard. I finished. I finished it for the first attempt. I failed phase one, phase two twice, but I did finish them. And after each of those uh, completions, I felt great. In fact, I felt fantastic. I felt like I could conquer the world. However, I am not satisfied with my results. In fact, I am quite unhappy with what happened overall, which is pretty crazy to be honest, considering that I completed 75 hard, I lost 30 pounds, and what happened right after I completed the phase is I slowly dwindled. Think of a chart, a graph going slowly down, slowly down, slowly down, and eventually it reaches a point where it's not really that much dissimilar from where you started from, which is really kind of depressing. But we're not here to talk about depressing. We're here to talk about challenges and how to make your year a fantastic year. And I'll tell you why I'm talking about thinking in the big scheme of things I'm going to tell you guys what I have planned for next year and why I'm going to completely change my mindset. Here's the thing. When you guys uh, are in the 75 hard circle or when you join it, you probably will join one of the Facebook groups. People always ask for book recommendations. One of the best books in there that almost everyone reads is Atomic Habits. Now, Atomic Habits explains why a lot of people, for example, let's use the diet uh, as a clear example. Somebody goes on a diet for two or three months, uh, maybe six months, and they lose a lot of weight, and then they stop. So their goal, most people will fail overall, and they'll balloon back up, they'll gain the weight back, because their only goal is to complete that one task. So this is where I failed, and this is where maybe some of you will fail, and this is overall just not a good strategy. I'll tell you why. So my only goal when I completed 75 hard was to complete 75 hard. But then, you know, okay, I was like, yeah, okay, we well, might as well do phase one, phase two, you know, complete the 75 year. However, that is not a good goal. Yes, it is very hard and challenging. You guys know how challenging 75 hard is. You guys know how challenging doing two 45 minute workouts, one outside, you know, I live in Canada, so I'm going to be running in minus 15, 20 weather here, you know, cut soon in February and March and January. But nothing is impossible. Okay, it's hard, but not impossible. The problem is, is that your goal cannot just be, I'm going to complete this and I'm done. Because what happened to me is that as soon as I completed phase one, which basically I did a week after 75 hard, I just let myself stop caring about the things that got me to where I was, okay? I no longer consider myself a runner. I no longer consider myself a weightlifter. I was just like, great, I achieved my goal, I'm done, I'm gonna start drinking, I can eat some chips, I can have some pizza. And the problem is, is that all that self-discipline I had built up, I started to lose it because I had the wrong goal. So I'm telling you guys what, what is the successful way of having the right goal and to have long-term success. And I'm gonna try this in 2022 and hope for the best, but we're not really in it to, to try, we're in it to win it. 
we're in it to do our very best. So here's my first problem. Next year in 2022, I will not just complete 75 hard again. I will be training throughout the year for numerous competitions. And therefore, I don't want to just run once in a while. I want to become a marathoner. Okay, I want to take my step to another level. I want to run my first marathon. So instead of talking to you guys today about phase three, that's going to happen from January 1st for me. And then, you know, February 1st is when I started last year or this year. So I got to complete it by then. Yes, I'm going to do that. But my focus from January till basically May 1st, the day or, you know, whatever Saturday is end of April, May is the first marathon. I'm going to try to complete it. So my training will be all about running that marathon. Now, once I'm done the training and I've ran the marathon, hypothetically, if everything goes well, I cannot stop anymore. My goal cannot be this is it because I'm going to go back to my old ways. I know it. I know it. I've already done it. I've already lost 30 pounds, gained 20 pounds, lost 15 pounds, and then gained 15 pounds again. <laughs> right now, as I'm talking, I'm down maybe... Uh, five to seven pounds from where I started last year where I was overweight so that's gonna happen that happened to me it could happen to you guys now yesterday I sat on my computer and I did a trail run with a few friends uh, a couple months ago uh, I guess it was in October so a month and a half ago and it was a lot of fun and it's very challenging the thing with trails is that you you first of all the weather could really impact how difficult the trail is and you're running through the forest so when i went it was raining like crazy so it was so muddy i even slipped in the mud once but it was actually really fun and the thing is is like the ground is never even so <laughs> so it's not like you're running on the pavement and whatever it's like sometimes the ground is going you're going up you're going down you're going sideways it's a very very difficult uh type of run it's an advanced run let's just call it right so i actually really enjoyed it and there's a few people I met when I was there and you can kind of tell there's a community, right? So I want to become a trail runner. So yesterday I signed up for five trail runs here in Ontario and they range from 13 kilometers to 22.5 kilometers. Guys, have I ever ran 22.5 kilometers? No, I have never ever run 22.5 kilometers, let alone through a forest, which is probably going to be like ridiculous like up a ton of hills and down a ton of hills it's gonna be so hard so unbelievably hard but i think that is the correct way of getting to another level right so that way at no point in, can i really line up my training because i want to become a much better version of myself right of course i want to get in shape but i've told you guys many times that being in the correct physical shape also gives you the right mindset to do other things in life. I have a much better time with my kids. They don't aggravate me. You know, my wife doesn't aggravate me. I can brush her off if she's in a bad mood. I can help other people. People notice I sound more youthful and, and energetic. Finally, at the closer towards the end of the year, a friend of mine said that there is a half triathlon in September. So half triathlon means that uh, you're biking. Basically, it's half the distance. Uh, and I don't really know exactly what the distance for everything is. But I'm going to assume that it's going to be around like 1.8 kilometer swim in open water, which sounds extremely difficult. Never done that in my life. Um, I can. I have swam two kilometers in a pool before. Um, you know, basically not stopping, but of course I touch the edges. Sometimes I take a five second breather and uh, that's when I'm basically at the top of my shape or tip top shape, I should say. So we'll see how that goes. And then, you know, you have a 90 kilometer. Normally it's 180 kilometers. I think if you do a full triathlon, I've never done a triathlon, but I thought that would be a fun to do. And then, uh, so 90 kilometers bike cause it's half. And then I think a half uh, marathon. So 21 uh, kilometers or so to run at the end um that sounds like a nightmare type of event to be honest uh i don't think uh i can conceptualize being mentally ready for something like that right now <laughs> and uh maybe you guys have some stuff coming up that you're like i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do this but let's be honest guys 
when I was doing 75 hard, I knew exactly how I felt after two weeks, which is extremely sore. But after a month, I started to get new confidence. I started to challenge myself. If there was a rain outside, I'm like the Lieutenant Dang of running with legs. And I would be like fighting that storm, swearing at it. Um, probably not swearing too much because I'm not too much of a swearer, but running outside and challenging the elements. And when I started, you know, 75 hard in February 1st, March 5th to 7th, so literally five weeks after the program, I had done the David Goggins 4x48, 4x4x48, which is run four miles every four hours. I completed it. I had that much confidence and endurance at that point to do something so challenging that I'm so incredibly proud of myself for doing that. And hopefully you guys can find something that you're really inc- proud about for doing that. It was an incredible weekend. And not only that, is I worked part of the weekend. So in between my four hour <laughs> races, <laughs> I would show some houses. I, I think I sold two homes in between. I was trying to go to sleep early and people were calling me. But anyways, I digress about that. I'm really proud about that event. So what I do know is that when I complete 75 hard or when I do train like that, I reach another level. So these things become, uh, these challenges are something I start looking forward to and I start enjoying the training. And that's why I want to change my whole mindset. So at the end of 2022, I would have ran five different races through a forest, trail races. I would have completed a marathon and I would complete a half triathlon. Um, That sounds ridiculous. That sounds way harder than my 2021. Uh, however, my son is four and he went with me to the trail race the first time with my mom. So I think maybe that'll be like a fun thing to do. And um, I, I see they have an option for three kilometers for kids. I think if he pushed himself, he could run three kilometers. I don't know. We're all about challenging each other here. So um, the other thing is like uh, when I was in shape, I was better at sports. Like people, I, I have a good hockey team. Uh, just everyone's a good friend. Uh, on the team, but we're very, you know, jovial, we joke around, make fun of each other, it's a typical uh, beer drinking league. But when I was doing phase two, and we got back to playing after things lighten up uh, here in Ontario from the pandemic, I was so much better. I was scoring goals, you know, uh, setting people up. Everyone was like, oh crap, Phil's like really good all of a sudden. We didn't see that happening. And it was just a better time, to be honest. It just seems like everyone kind of just like respects you more uh, because you're just better at things. Uh, it just sounds strange. Uh, maybe, you know, kind of silly, but you are just able to be happier and to be more agile and more athletic and you can produce better. You have like an aura, an aura around you of like positivity and happiness. You could solve problems easier. So I want to become this person full time, okay? I want to become that person and I'm going to go through great strides to do it. The other thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to go without drinking for as long as possible. The reason is I love a drink just like anyone else. And sometimes it's going to suck. If I can make it to the summer, I think that will be huge. I think uh, going... To, into the summer, into cottages and to, uh, camping with the kids. It's going to be really hard not to have a drink. Um, but uh, like, let's say I go sober for six months, right? Until the end of June. That's going to be quite an accomplishment. And I think that also really hurts me because I have a couple of drinks here at home and sometimes it turns into four and then I have a bag of chips and then I smoke a joint and then I'm like, you know... I'll eat a bag of chocolate, you know, a whole bag of like absolute chocolate. And uh, when I was on the 75 Heart program, even though I did smoke pot like once a week, I never binged on bad food because I didn't want to fail, right? So that's the kind of mindset I need to do. And I don't mind smoking pot once in a while because at the end of the day, sometimes you want to do something extra just to relax and to um celebrate if I can't have a drink then at least I can do that on a Friday uh, you know after a tough week or Saturday or something um the other thing so I want to mention is that if I do all this and I don't drink for as long as possible it's going to improve my chances to be the best version of myself I could I can be 
So therefore, I don't want to just run an event. I want to become a marathoner. I want to become a trail runner. I want to become a triathlete. I want to become a better father, right? So think about things that you guys can do that you, like, what do you want to accomplish in uh, 2021 or 2022? What do you want to accomplish? Write down, let's say, five things you want to do. Do you want to improve your health? You want to lose 10 pounds? Okay, write it down. Now, what about other things? Do you want to become a better writer? Do you want, do you have a side hustle? Do you want to blog more? Do you want to make more friends? Write down the things that you want to do that are really important to you. Figure out how you want to get there, but you have to make it a full year process. At the end of 22, you say, I am going to become a blogger. I'm going to become a runner. I'm going to become a cyclist. I'm not going to cycle once in a while. I'm going to become that person so I can reach new levels and just really challenge myself to be an amazing version of myself. So I want you guys to think about that stuff for next year. And I want you to tell me or write to me. Hit me up on Instagram, philip.hyduke, F-I-L-I-P dot Hyduke, H-A-J-D-U-K. Um, on Instagram or Facebook and tell me what are your goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? What kind of person do you want to become? Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up and just tell you what I'm planning to do next year in terms of uh, in the short term. So right in January 1st, we hit phase three. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more challenging because you have to call random people and then you have to do something nice for someone And in addition to all the other workouts and everything you got to do. But I'm kind of hitting the ball rolling right now because I started working out this week and I should probably work out up until there. So it won't like crush me once I start doing two <laughs> workouts a day. Because that kind of what happens when you start 75 hard out of thin air. It just kind of crushes you after two weeks and you're just like a wimpy little dog just trying to recover. Um, then I'm going to try to do 75 again up until my birthday for April. So therefore I'm using all the training to train for my first trail run and uh, and the marathon, which should be one week apart to start running longer distances, right? When I, when I do runs for 45 minutes during my 75 workouts, I was able to get to nine kilometers in 45 minutes. So I, basically a five minute pace was like this. Yeah, I think I hit four, 458 at one point. So I was really proud of that. It only happened one time where I ran under five minutes, but it is possible. And I could probably even get it way better than that if I really dedicate. So I'll be running five times a week because that's what you have to do to train for. Uh, and I won't be lifting weights as much. Maybe I'll lift weights like three times a week, um, make it more, uh, more so it syncs up well with the kind of muscles I need to target for running, the type of exercises I need to target for better movement, better strength in my legs, calves, all that stuff, right? And then so at the end of April will be my birthday. We just keep going on. And I just want to become like this incredible version and keep challenging myself. So I'm here to give you guys a little bit of motivation. Um, don't do what I did in 2021. Yes, do 75 hard, complete the 75 year, but don't just complete it and then stop. You have to decide what kind of person you want to be to reach the next level that's going to really change your life. Enjoy. Happy holidays, guys.